Hello everyone, it's Joe from OnePageZen.com, and today in this tutorial, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to deploy a WordPress website on Amazon Web Services, otherwise known as AWS. So in part one of this tutorial, you will learn how to deploy WordPress on an AWS EC2 compute instance. Then in part two, you will learn how to configure a custom domain name for your new WordPress website on AWS. And lastly, in part three, you will learn how to configure free auto-renewing SSL certificates for your new WordPress website on AWS. So let's get started. So from your AWS Management Console dashboard, let's go to Launch a Virtual Machine. Click that. All right. Now in the search field here, let's search for WordPress and get the results from the marketplace. Now we're going to select this option, this WordPress certified by Bitnami and automatic. So let's select that. Click continue. All right, so I'm going to select this uh, T2 micro, micro machine, which is free tier eligible. Now, if you want to learn um, more about how to select an appropriate machine size, check out this uh, tutorials page at onepagezen.com. I go a little bit more into um, the costs of hosting WordPress on AWS, as well as some additional configuration details. So uh, let's click the uh, next configure instance details button. All right, so let's leave these default settings as is. And let's click the next add storage button. All right, so let's add some storage. I'm gonna add 32 of the uh, general purpose SSD. All right, now I'm going to select next add tags. I'm gonna leave that as is. Click next configure security group. These look good, so I'm going to click Review and Launch. And here is your the details. Uh, you can look these over, and once you have, click the Launch button to deploy your instance. Um, for the key pair, we are going to create a new key pair. So select Create a New Key Pair from the dropdown. I'm going to name it WordPress, and I'm going to download it. All right, once you've downloaded the key, click the Launch Instance button. All right, great. Now that our instance has been deployed, let's click this link here. Now you can see our instance ID as well as its public IP address. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this IP address. And now let's head on over to our domain name provider. In my case, I'm using Namecheap for my domain name. However, the following instructions will be similar uh, across all domain name providers. All right, so now you can see I am at the management dashboard for my onepagezen.com domain name here on namecheap.com. And if you are using Namecheap, just make sure that your name server settings here are set to Namecheap Basic DNS. Then head on over to the Advanced DNS tab here. Okay, so from the Advanced DNS tab, what we're going to do is we're going to create two records. We're going to create an A record and a C name record. If you have any other records in these fields, uh, you should delete them, or if they are important and you know what they're doing, leave them. But for the sake of this tutorial, what you will need to configure your domain name is an A record and a C name record. So for the A name record, how I'm going to configure it is I'm going to change this value here to the IP address for my virtual machine instance that I copied in the last step. So I am pasted that here, and I'm going to click the green check mark to save the changes. 
and then I'm going to leave this C name record as is. Now remember, this is for your own unique domain name. So because my domain name is onepagezen.com, I configured the C name record value for it. Same with the IP. These two values you have to change for uh, your own unique configuration, whereas everything else uh, you can basically copy and paste. So once you've done that, let's head back over to our AWS Management Console. All right, so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to configure free auto-renewing SSL certificates for our new WordPress website on AWS. So to do that, let's click this link to our instance ID. All right, now let's head on over to the Connect button here. Let's click that. Let's go to the SSH Client tab here. And let's copy this example command. Actually, you can just click this icon here to copy it. So if you remember from a previous step, what we did is we downloaded our private key file. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to SSH into our WordPress instance. So to do that, you're going to need to open your uh, preferred terminal emulator. In this case, I'm using um, Git Bash for Windows. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate to the downloads directory. And the reason I'm navigating to the downloads directory is because that's where I saved my private key file. So this is, it's from the downloads directory that we're going to execute the SSH command to connect to our instance. So I'm going to do CD downloads, press enter. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the permissions on the key file. So I'm going to do chmod 600 wordpress.pem, press enter. And now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paste the command to connect to my AWS instance. However, I'm going to change this admin username here to Bitnami. Once you've done that, you can press enter. Press yes. Great, so now we've connected to our virtual machine instance. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to execute the script, which automates the process of configuring our SSL certificates. So to do that, I'm going to execute the following command. Now I have all of these commands listed out individually on this tutorials page at onepagezen.com. So see the description um, of this video for that link in case you want to copy and paste these commands. All right, so here I'm going to um, Enter this command. And this is going to walk me through the process of configuring uh, the SSL certificates. So I'm going to enter my domains, onepagezen.com and www.onepagezen.com. All right, and I want to enable HTTP to HTTPS redirection. So I'm going to do Y and then press enter. And I, I suggest not having uh, the www dot prefix for your domain, but this is optional. In my case, I'm, I don't want it. So I'm going to do N and then press enter. And I do want the www to non www redirection. So I'm going to do Y and then press enter again. I'm going to do Y to agree to these changes. I'm going to enter my email address. And I'm going to agree to the subscriber agreement. All right, now this takes just a minute.
Press enter. Great, so now we've deployed WordPress, we've configured our, do our domain name, and we've enabled SSL, auto-renewing SSL, free auto-renewing SSL, I should say, for our website. So now the next thing we need to do is we need to get our WordPress credentials so that we can log into our WordPress website. So to do that, I'm going to execute the following command. All right, and this command is going to show us our username and our password. So I can remember that username, it's easy enough, but I'm going to copy this password here. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to head on over to my website, which is one page zen. Dot com and I'm going to go to the WP login endpoint here. All right, I'm going to enter my username, which is user, and then I'm going to paste that password that I copied and I'm going to log in. And voila, just like that, you have successfully deployed a WordPress website on AWS complete with your own custom domain name and free auto renewing SSL certificates. And that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the box below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out onepagezen.com for many other great cloud computing tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching.